What's up guys, Ruben here with your daily tech needs and today I have a video for you um, of the Galaxy S3 launcher. Uh, this is basically the home uh, layout, screens and app drawer from the Galaxy S3 which has been released today in Europe. Um, this basically, this launcher is very fast and um, I'm going to give you a couple of specs about it. Uh, you're looking at it right now. Um, so basically it comes in two versions, it comes in a 4x5 grid version, a uh, home screen uh, 4x5 or a 5x5 version and which I have here, the 5x5 version. Um, both these uh, files are zip files so you have to flash them in clockwork mod, it's just a simple flash would do. And uh, they are currently working on all ROMs or CM9 ROMs, uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 ROMs, um, AOKP ROMs and AOSP ROMs. So basically that covers all ice cream sandwich ROMs. Does only work on ice cream sandwich at the minute, there is no gingerbread version. So sorry about that guys if you're still running that um, OS, but it only works on ice cream sandwich. Uh, so basically it's very nice, you can also flash widgets which I haven't. Uh, I'm just going to go for the launcher today. Uh, so yeah, I'll put the link in the description right next to the like button. Um, to download it. So uh, so yeah, I flashed it here and uh, this is what you're going to get more or less uh, when you launch it. As you can see, you have this kind of 3D carousel going on. As you can, I don't know if you can see that, but the widgets kind of change a bit. There's a few graphical glitches in this, uh, this launcher. It's still in early stages, if you like. And there's constantly an update for this launcher um, over on the XT forms. It's constantly being updated. But I would hop into the app drawer right now, and as you can see, pretty fast. And uh, I only have these apps installed. But uh, but yeah, that's basically it. You can go up here and you can click on widgets, and you can view all your widgets. You can scroll through them then, and you can simply hold it and then drag it onto your display. And uh, there we are. As you can see, there's some overlapping uh, the of the widget. So like I said, there's some few gra gra graphical glitches. As you can see here, you can hold on and you can do the common scrolling, uh, which is common in all TouchWiz um, interface phones by Samsung. As you can see here, we've got seven home screens. Uh, you can go into set into edit, sorry, and you have the options of changing your default home screen um, by clicking on the home icon, as well as jumping to other home screens and adding more, and indeed deleting if you wish. Um, okay, so we'll go back here. Uh, you also have the option of creating a folder, just like the Galaxy S3. Just drag some apps in here. And as you can see, it's a fairly simple looking folder, if not that gingerbread like. Um, I did think that was a bit odd. Uh, but we'll just hop into it there, and as you can see, it pops up with that animation. Uh, and tap in anywhere on the display, we'll get rid of it. Uh, so I'm just wanting to get rid of this clock here. As you can see, when you grab a widget, yeah, you don't go to the top to get rid of it, you have to go to the bottom right hand corner to delete it and uh, and you'll get an animation there. Don't know if you can see it, but the bin lights up. Uh, and then once you let go, it'll go back to your default launcher. Uh, the scrollable, as you can see, you can scroll for the whole seven continuously in a, in a wheel-like motion. Uh, you can go back to the, obviously, the default by clicking on the home. Um, and that's basically it. There's some more widgets. If you go to your apps and you click on this down arrow feature, uh, you get your downloaded apps, apps that you've downloaded from the Play Store, but unfortunately I haven't downloaded any yet, so there won't be any there. Uh, so, yeah, you can also hide applications just by simply ticking them, pressing done, and as you can see, they won't appear in your app drawer, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you also have the option to show the hidden applications, obviously, once you've hit them. Uh, you can click on view type and you can uh, customize how you want it laid out. As you can see, we'll have an alphabetical grid here, or we'll have an alphabetical list. Uh, it's up to obviously personalization, up to whatever you decide. Uh, you can click on edit, and you can basically bring these, and uh, you can find out app information. As you can see, or we can indeed add it to a folder, or add it to a home screen, or uninstall if it will allow. But it's, um, it's a system app so it won't allow us to uninstall it. Uh, and then we also have the option to go into the Play Store uh, as you can see and just download some apps there. So that's very nice. Um, other than that we've got search obviously down here. You don't have the default search bar at the top. You will have to install that uh, by whatever means necessary. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please 
like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate the subscriptions, and um, that's basically the default launcher for the Galaxy S3 running on a Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0. Peace out.